you are not going to believe this. The most underrated free AI video generator just got a massive upgrade. After a partnership with Midjourney, Meta AI Video Generator is now creating cinematic shots that they claim rival Sora 2 and VO 3.1. But unlike the competition, this is 100% free. No daily limits, no watermarks, no region blocks. So is this finally the free Sora 2 killer we've been waiting for? I'm going to test the unlimited claims, compare it head-to-head -head against Google VO and Sora 2 to find out if this is real or just another wave of AI hype. Let's dig in and find out. All right, first things first, let's talk about that free and unlimited claim. Officially, Meta operates without a credit system or paid plan, allowing you to create unlimited videos. As far as I know, this is the only platform on the market doing this. During my testing, I generated a ton of images and videos and never hit a single limit. That said, the AI landscape moves fast, so if your experience is different, let me know in the comments. Now for the fun part, testing the video generation. You can access the video generation feature on the Meta AI app. The landing page is similar to a normal chatbot page like ChatGPT, but if you go down, you can see some examples of what people are creating with this tool. If you click on one example, you open a page where you can see the detailed prompt used to generate the video. Here, you can also see the creator information and have the option to remix. Clicking on the Remix button, we open a page where you have access to all the generation setup. Here on the top right, you can see this video was generated using an image as reference and you can open and see the image prompt as well as the animation prompt below. You also have the options to select a music. We'll check those features in detail, but first, let's get back to the main page and create something from scratch. From the main page, if we click on the plus signal at the chat box and select the Create, you open the tab where you can choose between creating an image or video, the aspect ratio, and also the aesthetics options. Bear in mind, this model just generates videos from images. So let's select image, add our prompt, select the aspect ratio, and hit send. The model gets to work. I'll accelerate all generations and inform how long they took. This one took about one minute. Now we can take a look at the four images and select one to animate. I like this one. Now on the right tab, you have the image prompt and some options to restyle or insert a prompt to alter the image. For me, having two places to the image prompt is very confusing, but let's focus on the animation. Here on the bottom right, you have two buttons. You can click the animate to do without a prompt or the custom animate to add a prompt. For this first generation, we'll use the animate and let's see what it makes. It took about 30 seconds to generate what is very fast by the actual standards. The prompt was a bit complex as you can see, but the model followed the instructions and generated what I expected. Those are the videos I generated using VO 3.1 and Sora 2. Here you can compare side by side to see the differences. In my opinion, VO have the best motion and video definition, but Meta's model isn't that far. Sora generated a weird motion and camera angle. What's your opinion? Now we'll try to replicate this famous Sora 2 video. This one is much more complicated because the model needs to understand the man movements and the board being over a liquid surface. Back to the main page, I'll select a video and upload a screenshot of the video as a reference. The prompt would be man jump, performs a backflip, and lands on the paddleboard without failing in the water. By the way, if you're finding this tutorial useful, hitting that subscribe button and liking the video really helps support the channel and ensures you don't miss out on future guides. The video is ready. It took two minutes to generate. And no, it's not really what we expected. To be fair, I have to say this Sora 2 video we're using to compare was generated by the OpenAI team, and I'm sure they took some shots to get it right. But in order to make a fair comparison, I did the exact same generation using Google VO 3.1, and this is the result. You can see VO did a great job in just one shot. As you can see, Meta's movie gen model is still struggling with complex physics. Now, let's take a look at extended video and restyle features. I'll use this airplane taking off to extend the video. You just need to click on the extend button and wait. Once the video is ready, you can select it on the create tab and extend again. I managed to extend videos up to 36 seconds, but the official limit isn't disclosed. You can see it does an okay job extending the video, but unfortunately we do not have control over the extension output. Now let's dig into the restyle options. If we select a video to remix and click on the restyle browser, you can see we have many options. If you click in a style, it shows a sample of the result. I'll try some and show you the results. As you can see, they work very well and you can easily alter the style of a character or video. 
So, what is the final verdict about Meta's movie gen? Here are the big takeaways. First, the good. The model is very capable of doing basic animations that do not require complex physics or complex body movements. It's free and unlimited, which is a big plus in this ecosystem. And the ability to extend videos up to 36 seconds is by itself another very positive point. Now, the bad. It's not quite a Sora 2 killer. For complex animation, the model just cannot make it. And when you put the output side by side with videos from OpenAI's Sora 2 or Google's VO 3.1, you can see a clear difference in quality. Sora 2 and VO are aiming for stunning realism and more coherent scenes. So is Meta's movie gen a revolution it claims to be? The answer is no. It's a good free alternative to generate simple animations for social media creators, meme makers, or if you want to use it as a playground, or to test prompts and learn about video generation. But I don't think you can rely on this model for anything more than this. But now I want to hear from you. What do you think of Meta's movie gen? What would you use this model for? Let me know in the comments below. And if you found this breakdown helpful, be sure to like and subscribe for more deep dives into the latest AI tools. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.